possibly the most technical and the trickiest. Um, again, I have used this in, ju in judo competitions at a decent level. It does work very well. It's the Tomonagi. Yeah. More specifically, Yoko Tomonagi. But there are some details. It looks like this when done properly, so you grip up with me. He, he, he got some grips. Yeah, okay, there's all normal grips, fine. Um, and he, he didn't give me under or over with this hand. Okay? So we're here. Well, I've got his posture broken. If I haven't got his posture broken, I'm going to try and get to his legs. Okay? Or maybe you like some different throws, you can do that if we're up here. Maybe you, I don't know, maybe you like Uchimaru or something, so you can you come in. If you, if you want to. Okay? But I, I like to shoot legs. But we're going to break his posture. This now, and or he breaks his own posture, which is very common in Jiu Jitsu. Okay, so from here, I haven't got, he's not giving me the grip that I want, so I'm going to go for a Tom and Aggie. What's the worst thing that happens to the Tom and Aggie? He nails up on my guard, big deal. My guard's alright, okay? I don't mind being the guard. Okay, but if I can flip him for two, that'd be even better. Okay, so here, this is what it looks like. Right, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's some common mistakes that I will definitely see today, and that's fine. Can you just grip for here? Just to every, to that's what everyone's going to do. Like, here's a common mistake. The guy is rolling across here and not falling over properly. Okay. Or another one is this. Okay. Those are the two common mistakes. One that they get moving, or one they go in the wrong direction. Okay. Um, and the solution to those, which is obviously easy, easy for me to say, harder to do in practice, is to make sure you control the posture and to use your hands. Your hands are really important for this throw. It looks like, obviously like a foot throw. It looks like you're using your leg, which you are. You don't underestimate how important your hands are for this. As I'm going in sideways here, I'm really pulling with my hands to control him. Okay, my grip's important. This high grip is now, is now critical. So if I can, when I come in, on all of these really, when I come in, if I can, to get this grip, rather than go here and look for this, personally, I just whack them on the back of the neck, come in here, pull. Or I just do this, this is something I do all the time, is I go, I go, go to fake grip that and they would pull away. And I slap them over the top, and I got hold of this at the back of the neck. So you can do this throw, all these throws you can do from here as well, which is even better for breaking the posture. So how do you want to do it? Okay, we'll do it from here. Okay, so, but we both gripped up. And we're, and we're down here. Okay, my foot is going to go onto his belt. Okay, I'm right-handed and I'm going to throw it, with, I'm going to use my left foot. How you want to do it, it's up to you. I'm going to talk it through as a right-handed person doing it with their left foot. My left foot is going to go to his belt as I drop underneath and I'm going to try and lay inside control underneath him but with a foot on his belt. Okay. I'm going to use my hand to put, so I'm going to, my head's going to be near his right foot, and I'm going to pull him up over my head, using my hands and my foot, and then steer him over my left shoulder. And that's quite a lot to take in. Okay, um, it might be easier actually if we stand, can you guys move back a little bit? I'm sweating in my head and knees. Um, we're going to use this square here. So we'll be on this side of it, and I'm going to throw him into that corner. Might be in that corner, but we'll see. Okay, so we're here, I'm going to put my foot to his belt, Swing my head completely under. I want to try, if I can, ideally, I want to roll my shoulders through. And if I could get him even lower to here, this would, this would allow me to do it. I'm going to put my, my foot to his belt and I roll my head as deep as I can underneath. Side control at the minimum. And that's normally where you'll end up. If you can get under to a north south, even better. Okay? So if you're here, here, and pivot underneath, I'm going to try to aim him in that corner. Using my hands a lot. Okay, is that, yeah. So he has a right grip, but a left stance on the feet. He did that, he could have any stance, I don't really care. So can you have like, if he had his uh, right leg at the front, you would do the same? Yeah, so if we here, oh, to be honest, I may just grab his leg. If it's available to grab, if it's so close it's in my way, I'll probably just grab it. So if we're here, and that makes forwards, we're going to yeah. come in. Yeah. Ankle picking. If it's, if, it's, if, it's, if it's in my way and I think I can't go for this throw, but why square peg around hole, right? I've got, I've got me here for that nature right there. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, it's, it's so you need the space for you to... Yeah, but if it doesn't give me the space, you give me his legs, which is what yeah. I really want. Yeah. The whole point in Jiu Jitsu of people doing this is to keep their legs back. If his legs 
If his legs are available to me. Yeah. Ankle picking. Yeah. But he's not giving me that leg. Here. I can't get to it. Okay. But there is space for me to put myself into. So I'm going to a nice high grip. Remember that's so important. His high grip here. Hand to the elbow. Okay. This might be difficult to make it work. It may be work for you. I like to go to the elbow. At least a little tricep. Okay, foot to the hip and roll underneath. Roll under here. Take a move. Okay. Again, I've done this in junior competition at a decent level. These are all, all of these throws I have. Um, they're nice and safe. And if they go wrong, what are you risking? You're nothing guard. Okay. And in judo, okay, uh, stand back up again. In jiu jitsu, well, I'm my guard. Okay. Yeah, like, maybe you guys like the full guard anyway. Fine. Let's yeah. try this. We might start two points up. Does everybody see it? Do you need to see it again? Do you have any questions? What are you doing with your hands? Because you said this a lot of times. You're just pulling out. Pulling up over my head. Or directing him, really. Pulling here and trying to steer him. Yeah, so um, let me do it to you. And I'll, do it, I'll do it slowly so you can feel what my hands are doing. So, sorry, my knee's sweating. Okay. <clears throat> so I've got grip up here. I'll pull you down. I'll go slow. Come in. Roll under. Slightly here. My hands are going to come in. And then steer you over. Okay, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thank you. Everyone alright with that? Yeah, give it a shot. One, two, three. <laughs>